the artificer after unlocking repeating shot. I got 50 more rounds in this 4 rounds magazine. <laughs> hey, other way, it's Crater Ray here to deliver some freshly defined memes <laughs> directly to your screen. <laughs> How are you guys doing? Welcome to another DD memes video. Hope you're having a wonderful day today. Before jumping into the video, I just want to quickly kindly ask you if you're not yet subscribed to the channel. Consider doing so now. It only takes a moment. I appreciate it a lot. So thanks so much if you do that. We're really close to 100k and, um, you know, hopefully we get there this year. I, I don't know. It's it's still possible that it happens. And uh, I would really appreciate it if you, if you help me out with that. So yeah. Yeah, thank you so much for that and especially if you're already subscribed i really appreciate that and yeah with that being said i hope you enjoyed the video it's almost like a character doesn't have to be weak for there to be struggle and good roleplay opportunities no you can't just keep your role of all 18s how are you gonna have flaws get your dm to lower it <laughs> i have a crippling superiority complex both of them even get firearm proficiency Corporate needs you to find the differences between this picture and this picture. <laughs> They're the same picture. <laughs> Without disintegrate or power word kill, you can't win against a zealot. Rage beyond death is overpowered. Nobody. Level 15 zealots after being at 10 health for half an hour, being digested by the Tarrasque, taking their, <laughs> taking their max hit points in damage 40 times over, not their max in a single turn though, and then eating a magic berry. I didn't hear no bell. Nah, Zealot Barbarians just don't know when to give up, <laughs> or I guess they don't know what giving up means. Dead names are out. That was my other character is in. You can remember to call your D&D players by their character names, no matter how often that changes, but you can't use their real name if they change it? Interesting. Players. We've made a terrible mistake. Party successfully robs a local store completely by pretending to be in needs of its charity. A couple of hours later, a commoner remarks upon the victim's collection of fabulous birds. <laughs> okay, I've seen this one before I know how this is gonna end. <laughs> Someone around here told me that we need more barbarians. I agree. Get to work, everyone. When the gods need diplomats, they send clerics. When a judge and jury is needed, they send paladins. They only call upon us when they need an executioner. Path of the Zealot. Deus Vault? Nobody. Me? Making my every character a zealot because flavor is free. <laughs> Amen. All about job creation. Pay may be optional. When you decide to go lawful evil instead of chaotic evil this campaign, you may enslave the population. Woman and children first. I'm an equal opportunity enslaver. <laughs> help. My daughter is trapped in the spit. Does anyone have anything that could help get her out? Yeah, yeah. The 50 feet of hemp and rope. We've all got it. <laughs> Yeah, the ba <laughs> the basic starting for every the basic starting item for every adventurer. 50 feet of hemp and rope. I mean, everyone has that when they go somewhere, right? I just find these aspects far more engaging than racism, personally. Everyone angry and arguing over tiefling changes. Me and my zero racism, classism, and nationality-focused campaign. Public service announcement for everyone who started playing in fifth edition. The new rule set sucks. I'm sticking with fifth edition. Okay then. That was always allowed. <laughs> uh, I'm not sure. I'm not sure how how accurate this is. I mean, I feel like I feel like most people that do this and you know would would be in this scenario to say that they're sticking with fifth edition don't even follow the majority of fifth edition rules most of the time, if at all, if ever. Like, is, is there any difference between fifth edition and one D and D if you are either anyway going to just uh, you know nitpick the rules that you like and <laughs> ignore the bad ones or the ones you dislike? We mostly talk over Discord, so there are people whose real names I just straight up forgot. You call your players by their characters' names for immersion. I do it because I don't remember their real names. We are not the same. I'm... And what kind of context? Like, if you're only if you're only with that group to play D&D, I guess? But like, at some point you would also be kind of friends, I would assume, right? I don't know. It just seems really weird. <laughs> If you if you play an entire D&D campaign with someone and you don't know their names by the end. I mean, it worked. DM to the party. Why can't you just be normal? The all level 20 GIF wizard party casting time stop and casting hundreds of cone of colds, lightning bolts and meteor swarms on the sun to kill the solar dragon big bad evil guy inside without entering. <laughs> Screams. Zoinks. Where's a wood chipper when you need one? Paladin. This building needs to be purged of evil spirits. 
rogue. I like your initiative, but perhaps we come back in a few more levels if these guys couldn't handle it. Yeah, no, if, if these guys can't handle it, then uh, no way that you'll be able to. So yeah, good luck. I have an artificer coming into an upcoming campaign and dear lord do I hope this happens. The artificer after unlocking repeating shot. I got 50 more rounds in this 4 rounds magazine. <laughs> Glad I have the physical books, but a bit sad because those books were some of my absolute favorites and the new one seems to have ditched most of the lore. Wizards of the Coast stealthily removing Volos Guide to Monsters and Mordekane and Stone of Foes from D&D Beyond store after releasing More Than Canon Presents Monsters of the Multiverse. There is no lore in Bazingzi. <laughs> I can't believe they'd do this. 5th edition players. I hate how toxic the community is with the new playtest. Original D&D, Advanced D&D, 3rd Edition, 3.5 and 4th Edition players. First time? Yeah, well you know how they say there's a first time for everything, so um... <laughs> it's kinda sad in this case, but yeah. My DMing mentality. Tom. Seth, how many voices and characters can you do? Oh, just enough to avoid being myself. <laughs> oh my god. Seducing Dragon returns. I'm bored. Let's do something exciting. Like what? Oh, you know. Got it. I'll get the whipped cream. Ooh, how daring. Ah, uh, give me another bottle. <laughs> okay, um, well I'm glad this is how it turned out because I, I really didn't want to see the other scenario that you all have in mind. What can I say? I'm polydamnerous. I sold my soul to seven different fiends. They've been arguing over who gets to collect it ever since they found out. This has been going on for 400 years. It's nice to be wanted. And spitefully immortal. <laughs> Nice. This post was made by the utility mage gang. Marshals when casters outperform them. The world is a cruel and unjust place. There is no harmony in the universe and the only constant is suffering. Minutes later. <laughs> oh my god, haste. <laughs> Why is he blushing though? <laughs> like I'm imagining him looking at uh, haste like at an entity and just being like seeing that and being like smash. Yeah, I'd smash that. <laughs> Weezer dropping. Hey. This candle smells like fireball. Becky, us non-casters like to call that scent cinnamon. Player, I wish to use my turn to turn around and scream BANISH IT BANISH IT BANISH IT at our cleric. Dia, you have failed to kill the mages in time. They all stab themselves and the blood pools into an arcane circle. From the middle of it rises a red portal with black lightning and the figure in the shape of a knight that courts death walks through. New player, oh that can't be good. <laughs> Experienced players. We're all gonna die! <laughs> simple motivation is simple. The Fathomless. In exchange for the powers you'll be granted, you shall be my messenger, my emissary, my harbinger, warlock. So shall it be. What message would you have me deliver to the ignorant masses? Stop going pee pee in the ocean. <laughs> that is. Uh, there's no way that's something that bothers him so much. Please, Wizards of the Coast, come closer. I need. I need an official ranger class rewrite. I mean, yeah, I don't know, I mean a lot of people are complaining about that a lot, but there's also homebrew options, right? Standing here. Disarmed wizard with an 8 strength in an anti-magic field versus the big bad evil guy. <laughs> Clerics are kinda broken in 5th edition. Me, the DM. Running Rhyme of the Frost Maiden with a few friends full cleric party because we thought why not. Inflict wounds. Guiding Bolt, Spiritual Weapon. So you're only using gold. Me too. <laughs> DND the community with the gold pieces and then copper and silver in the background. Oh and also Electrum and Platinum in the um, underwater, there's... I mean nobody really cares about those, right? Mimic goes NOM. Players learning that corpses are considered objects the hard way. Draco, you madman. PCs, please don't do this. So, with the new background rules for 1 D&D, you could start the game with no weapons, no armor, no tools, but 50 goats. <laughs> goats lol. But then you realize that 50 times 1 D8 health, 1 D4 plus 1 damage, 10 AC, and plus 3 hit to knock enemies prone. <laughs> I mean, I guess, but you also would need to be, I don't know, like a druid maybe, and to, you know, to, to have them actually want to cooperate with you. What do you mean it takes no damage? New players the first time that they cast a spell and learn that the monster has immunity to the damage type. 
The <laughs> this is really funny. If you if you know uh, if you know One Piece, this is even funnier actually. <laughs> I, I thought I would add this. If you don't know why I said that and you're curious, um, th this is basically his this guy's reaction to exactly the thing that's described, to, to realizing that someone was um, immune to his damage type. <laughs> Features that I need in my life. I need a dungeon master for my real life just to have someone who asks, are you sure? When I'm about to do something stupid. If you want to surprise your PCs, surprise your players. The truth about metagaming. Trolls aren't even real and your players know a lot about how to kill them. They won't know less if trolls eating them was a real way that they could die. Either I suck at this or she's more creative than me. My friend making campaigns. My campaign starts with you guys being in someone else's nightmare. Me making campaigns. <laughs> My campaign starts in a tavern, I mean... <laughs> the, 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 the intention counts, okay? I mean, also if you're DMing, that's already a huge step, so no, no one should really complain about that. It got a little awkward after that. The party celebrating their victory fighting a drug dealer and the rogue finding insulin in the NPC's bag. It's not being lazy, it's called supervising. The warlock and shadow monk short resting while watching the wizard and paladin turn another four hobgoblins into goo. <laughs> nice. <laughs> Moved beyond editions. 6th edition, 5.5th edition. <laughs> And then there's 5th edition 2. 2-5, two, 2 furious. <laughs> okay. Can't what? I told the rogue that if he was honest, he could avoid prison time. But we all know thieves can't. <laughs> okay, I can't, I can't believe that the last meme in this episode is a really bad pun. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Well, alright, on that note, this is going to be it for today's video. So, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Don't forget to leave a like if you did and subscribe for more if you haven't already. Also, thank you to everyone supporting the channel on Patreon as well as on YouTube. I appreciate it a lot. So, thanks so much for that. Links below if you want to check those out as well as to the social media, Discord, and the emails. And uh, yeah, that's it. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. Have a great Bye.